was sweet. Thank you. Okay, can you get that? Hey guys, Callie Fab here, and today I'm actually going to be starting my three day or three plus day water fast. So I just wanted to throw this disclaimer out that I've done water fast before in the past, and you know, you shouldn't, you definitely shouldn't try this if you haven't done it yet or done any research on it. I have done a ton of research on it and it does give me really, really good benefits. And I feel like I need a reset to my metabolism and to my taste buds and my gut and everything. Cause I feel like everything I eat, no matter if it's healthy or not, it's just like sticking in my digestive system and making me bloated and making me gain weight. I've been working out and I've still been gaining weight and I've been eating less and I've still been gaining weight. So I did listen to a really, really good podcast to kind of get me ready for this fast last night. I will link it down below. It was really, really good. It was about an hour long. So if you have a drive into work and you're interested, play it. It's super good. But basically they go through all the benefits of fasting and water fasting in particular and what you can do to break your fast stuff like that so I do have my water I've already drank 20 ounces of water this container holds 20 ounces actually a little bit over 20 ounces about 25 ounces and I just count it as 20 though I will be starting my water fast technically I guess I started it last night after dinner I did not eat anything after dinner and it was about six to seven o'clock so I'm gonna be planning on breaking my fast in three days so today is tuesday april 10th and yesterday was the 9th so i ate dinner um i ate a very vegetable healthy dinner last night vegetable like full and rich so i could get a lot of fiber in before i started this and i also drank a bottle of kombucha yesterday to try to flush my system out during this fast so if you want to learn more about kombucha there's tons of different websites you can look up but I've been trying to drink more kombucha and trying to, you know, get some better bacteria into my system. So basically what I plan on doing is I plan on breaking my fast on Thursday. So in three full days, Monday was technically the start day. Monday at dinner was technically the start. So right now I'm at about, what time is it? It was, I'm going to say it was 7 o'clock on Tuesday that I stopped eating. And right now it's about 9 o'clock in the morning. So I've already gone 14 hours and I feel perfectly fine because I was sleeping. And normally I wouldn't eat until about 10 o'clock anyways on my teaching days, which today is Tuesday, so I teach on Tuesdays. And yeah, typically I don't eat much on Tuesdays anyway, so I figured it would be a perfect day to start my fast because I'm typically the most hungry on my first day. And then my second day, I actually have the day off tomorrow on Wednesday, so I figured that would be a good day because I usually, I eat a fair amount when I'm at work because I need to keep my energy up and I'm always moving when I'm at work because I work at a hospital. And then on Thursday, I actually have the day off as well, so I feel like on Thursday is usually my hardest day with dizziness and lightheadedness and stuff and i'll be home that day so i'll be able to lay down i'll be able to relax and sleep in and i'll be able to just calm down and drink lots of water so on these water fasts i will be losing weight because i do lose weight on my water fast but typically it's only about a half pound of fat and about six pounds or so of water weight I when I break my fast I typically end up gaining back at least half of the weight that I lost during my fast so I will keep you guys updated um, as of right now or as of last night I actually weighed myself before I went to bed to get that actual full amount of poundage because that's when I technically started my fast I will typically weigh myself in the mornings but for this purpose I wanted to weigh myself at my heaviest at night and I weighed 161 pounds, which is actually 10 pounds heavier than my last month. I've been gaining weight, like I said, like crazy because I've been eating less calories and my body's just been holding on to all of the calories that I've been eating as fat storage. So I really want to reset my system with this fast and get, you know, whatever is clogging up my digestive system out because I really feel like I need it out of my system and I felt like really bloated lately and stuff like I said earlier so 
I'm doing this to reset my system and my husband usually does it with me we typically do it about two times a year he usually does it with me but he said that he was not ready to do it you have to be mentally more than physically you have to be mentally ready to do a fast because you're not going to be having any food for me I don't break my fast with coffee or technically it's not breaking your fast if you have black coffee or just plain green tea but I'm not doing any of that because I don't want the extra caffeine um, caffeine's hard on my stomach and it's very acidic on my stomach so I won't be doing any of that so I will just be sticking with my vitamins I might not even do my vitamins I have medication I take every morning so I will be taking that and my birth control but I'm just gonna be sticking with plain tap water I don't do purified water I don't like it the main thing that I don't like about it is the taste and the aftertaste purified water really grosses me out but yeah, so I will be starting my three day fast today and throughout the days I will film some benefits, how I'm feeling, my weight. I did do an initial body picture that I can put up right here on the screen so you guys can see my initial and then I can show you my after picture when I'm all done. But yeah, so I will go throughout the days and I will update you guys on how I'm feeling, if I'm feeling hungry, if I'm having any cravings, if I'm drinking enough water, how much water I've drank throughout the day. And yeah, just keep you guys updated. I do plan on going to the gym while I'm fasting, but I don't plan on doing a hard workout because it's not good for your body to do a full workout. Um, it is good for your body to do about a 30 minute light cardio or 30 minute light strength training workout. Um, just from the research that I've done and doing fasts in the past so I do plan on going for a, a nice long slow walk with my dogs probably today and tomorrow I did snow last night which is ridiculous but it's getting warmer so I do plan on doing that and yeah so if you guys want to join me on this journey go ahead and feel free but make sure you do your research first make sure you're mentally prepared and make sure you know why you're doing it because if you're just doing a fast for weight loss that's not gonna motivate you enough if that makes sense my weight loss is secondary in my fast I'm really doing it to reset my digestive system and my taste buds and really get back into my whole foods plant-based diet because I have been noticing I've been kind of veering off the path I've been trying to do better and I've been adding in more things but as I add in more whole food plant-based I add in more processed as well so I just want to get off that path and I want to get off the calorie path. I've been cutting my calories drastically and I haven't been gaining or haven't been losing any weight. I've actually been gaining weight and I've been working out. So it's really frustrating when that happens. So the weight loss is definitely going to be a secondary because I really want to reset my system and reset my bacteria in my system and just kind of, you know, get a fresh clean slate and a clean start. My dog is totally just loving on my lap right now. Um, good girl. Come here. Come here. Come here. Zoe, say hi to the camera. Zoe, say hi. Say hi. Good girl. Over there. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the hug. Thank you for the hug. She's a lover. So anyways, I will take you guys along this journey with me. I hope this video is not too long and I hope that I can kind of give you some insight if you're looking into a fast. I typically like to do one before the summer months because like I said, it just cleans out my system and it gets me ready for the summer. Um, I will let you guys know of any weight if I do lose throughout the time because some days I will lose a lot of weight and other days I won't lose, I'll lose a half a pound. So I did weigh myself last night and I will weigh myself right now here in a second after I take off my sweatpants that I'm currently wearing because I like to weigh myself naked and see how much I actually weigh not with clothes on. So. I will do that. Like I said, I have drank quite a bit of water already today, so some of my weight is going to be water weight. And yeah, so I will talk to you guys in a little bit and keep you updated on this journey. And like I said, don't start this if you haven't done any research, anything like that. Don't just say, oh, I'm going to go on a three-day water fast. I'm going to go on a seven-day water fast. I'm going to go on a 30-day water fast, whatever. My plan is also, if I'm feeling really, really good on Thursday and not feeling like headed or dizzy or anything like that because I do get those symptoms, um, I plan on trying to go a bit longer, maybe until Monday. I do work over the weekend this weekend, so it will be a little bit more difficult to be fasting, 
because I will usually be up in the OR in cases and I can't have water while I'm in the cases. So water really does help me on my water fast because it makes me feel full and it gives oh, it gets rid of those hunger, you know, pangs. So I will be keeping you guys updated on this journey. If I end up going more than three days, then I will probably post the first half of the video and then post the second half of the video. But as of right now, I'm just planning on going my three days and we'll see where we go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and yeah, I will keep you updated. So let's do this journey. If you wanna do it together, let's do it. Bye guys. Until later, I guess. Not really bye, but until later. Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you a quick update on my fast. So it's been 24 hours since I have eaten last and I think it's been going good. <laughs> like I haven't felt super hungry. I haven't had severe hunger pains. I have been keeping myself very, very hydrated. I've had over a hundred fluid ounces of water today. I did have a about four ounces of coffee just to something to warm me up i was so cold earlier so i did have a regular coffee it's a decaf coffee actually because i don't do well with caffeine and um i did have about four ounces of that and it warmed me up and i feel so much better um it did give me a little bit of anxiety which i somewhat I sometimes get when I have acidic things in my stomach, I get a little anxiety about it, whatever. Anyways, so yeah, I honestly think I feel perfectly fine. I have peed an incredible amount today. Like every time I've went to the bathroom, it's been for like three minutes. Like seriously, it's like I can hold so much more pee now. I know it's probably way too much information, but that's okay. I'm trying to be honest with you guys to show you what's gonna happen. Oh, and something else that I noticed that I haven't eaten for 24 hours is the fact that my smelling, my sniffer, my nose, I can smell everything. Like before, I I don't know, I felt like, like the fragrances I was wearing just weren't smelling as good and um, a f couple body mists came in and I smelled them and I was like, eh, whatever. But now I went back and I smelled some things. Oh my God, it smells so good. So another thing with that is, of course my husband came home with pizza and it smelled incredible. So normally pizza doesn't smell that good to me because the melted cheese for some reason, it just, it throws me off of the smell, especially like Jet's pizza. Oh, it smells like vomit to me and I don't like it. But he brought home Hungry Howie's, just like a small pizza for him and Carter and it smelled so freaking good. Like, I didn't even want to eat it for the taste. I wanted to eat it for the smell. I don't know. That's crazy. Anyways, so those are a few things that I have been noticing. I did drop weight. I will put on the screen here what I weighed in the morning, or maybe I put it on there already. I don't remember. But I will weigh myself tonight and film it so that you guys can see how much I weigh tonight. After 24 hours of not eating and only drinking water, I have been, like I said, I have been staying very, very hydrated to make sure that my body doesn't go into breakdown mode and freak out and whatever. I do plan on doing some yoga stretches and stuff like that tonight so I can keep my body nice and loose. I have been keeping busy. I've done laundry. I taught today, so that helped a big significant part of my day I was teaching so that was really good um, I didn't get bored <clears throat> I filmed quite a few videos today which you are gonna see this shirt in a couple of them or you've probably already seen them by the time this comes up but I filmed quite a few videos today and I plan on editing a few and getting bills done and I have a whole laundry list of things to do on my day off tomorrow so that'll keep me busy and keep my mind going and not towards food. Um, craving wise, I haven't really craved anything in particular. Um, this morning I was feeling like I wanted something like fatty, like really savory and fatty, but after that craving kind of went like nothing specific but just like a fatty meal um but after that it didn't really nothing specific happened um i did buy ketone strips too to see when i go into ketosis which is like the fat burning state so 
when you're eating carbs, your body will burn off those carbs first. And then after there's no carbs left, then they will go in, your body will go into ketosis and start burning off those fat cells. So I was trying to find out how many days it would take for me to get into ketosis from doing this fast. And then after I plan on doing a high carb or a high fat, low carb meal, kind of a keto diet, a keto diet, um, basically when I'm done with this. So that way I can kind of see if it helps me burn calories, if I can get my metabolism back up because my metabolism has dropped significantly and yeah, just kind of see where I go. So I hope you guys are enjoying this so far and tomorrow I will film probably in the morning or midday some benefits of a three day to seven day fast and let you guys know how I'm doing tomorrow. Hopefully I'm doing just as good as today. Like I said, I'm feeling really good and really energized and I'm very motivated and feeling good. So I think I'm also feeling this good too because I have the day off work tomorrow. That might be part of it. And I got a lot of filming done and I'm just feeling really productive today, I guess, because I taught. I don't know, I just feel really good. So <sighs> anyways, I will update you guys tomorrow at some point. And like I said, I will film my weight tonight and put that on the screen for you. And then I'll film my weight in the morning and show you guys how that goes. So I've been doing this keto pee test while I've been on my fast and my first day yesterday I was right there on that one. Today I'm more like between these two. So that means I have moderate to large amount of ketones in my pee which is kind of gross if you think about it. But yeah that shows that I'm in the ketosis stage which is good for fat burning but like I said, I'm not doing this fast for fat burning. I'm doing it for my digestive reset. But yeah, I just wanted to show you this. It's kind of cool to see. I'm hoping by the end I'll be at this amount, the large amount. I mean, I'm almost kind of there. Like, I don't know. I'm like kind of in this range. So we'll see. day three of my three-day fast. I am now done with my fast. I ended up going 68 hours. What time is it? Yeah, 68 hours and I was gonna go the full 72 but I was getting super super dizzy and lightheaded and I couldn't even walk to the bathroom without like holding on to the walls and like freaking out. So I decided to end it there. I do get this symptom a lot when I do my three day fast. It always happens on my third day. And it's very, very difficult to continue a fast when I feel that terrible. So I told you guys I was gonna be completely honest about this whole experience. And I know I did not film yesterday like I said I was going to on day two at all simply because I felt like crap <laughs> all day yesterday. I had zero energy. I took like a hour nap yesterday. I laid around the house. I edited a couple YouTube videos. I didn't do my makeup. I didn't take a shower. Like I was so miserable yesterday. I just felt like crap and I kept craving the weirdest things. Not really, but I was craving chicken and hummus. I don't know why those go together, but for some reason they do in my my mind. And then when my husband got home, he had KFC, so that smelled delicious. And I haven't eaten KFC in, I can't even remember the last time, honestly. And that smelled so freaking incredible. And then after that, all I wanted was pickles. I love pickles in general, 
but I don't ever really crave them. Like I like them on my sandwiches. I like them, I don't know, just on my like kale burgers and stuff like that. But I was craving pickles. Like I just wanted to drink the pickle juice straight from the jar. I think my body was craving that sodium because I hadn't had any coffee or anything like that. I did have four ounces of coffee the first day. I did have about five ounces of green tea on the second day just to try to get some energy up they were both decaffeinated so very very little caffeine in those but yeah so i was just feeling like crap all day yesterday so i did not film my weight yesterday night last night so right now i will if i haven't already done it i will post my morning weight and then I will just tell you my night weight because I did not post it. I'm so sorry. But what I weighed last night was 151.5. So that's still another, I don't even know how many pounds that is, weight loss. So that's quite a bit. Oh, another pound. I think I was 152.5 in the morning. So 151.5. And once again, I think that was water weight. I had a hard time drinking water. It was like a chore yesterday. So I think that's probably part of the reason why I was so dizzy and lightheaded this morning, but there's that. Anyway, so I wanted to tell you guys what happened this morning. I will put my weight on the screen that I went down to this morning because I went down again because I'm not eating anything and my water weight has been going down significantly. So I will put it on the screen right now so that you guys can see my weight. But that is the lowest I have been in a really long time. Like, I mean like since high school, really long time. Maybe a little, maybe like a year after high school when I was 18 or 19, that was how much I weighed. Um, maybe a little bit less actually. But it's been a long time since I've seen the 140. So I'm really, really happy about that. And I plan on continuing eating a healthy diet and you know, good foods, just foods that make me feel good, not crap, junk foods and exercising. Cause I always feel so good when I go for a walk, I go for a run and go to the gym and I get a good burn on and I just feel so much better. So there's that. But I wanted to tell you guys what happened to me this morning because, like I said, I wanted to be completely honest with you guys. So this morning, I got a cup of coffee, just a decaf cup of coffee, no cream, no sugar, anything like that. And I was texting back to somebody on Instagram, one of my girlfriends, um, Stacy on Instagram. You guys have heard me mention her many times. So I was texting her back and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and I ran to the bathroom and I had really bad diarrhea. And I mean like really bad. So that in my mind is my body emptying out all the rest of the extra crap that I had stuck in my body. It was yellow, literally yellow, like not a normal poop color. And my pee has been completely not yellow because I've been drinking so much water. It's been like very, very clear. So I know that wasn't from my urination. That was from my diarrhea that I had. So I feel so much better now. Like that was really hurting my stomach last night and I'm really glad I got it out. But I know that to some of you that might be too much information, but I want to be completely honest with you guys in this whole process. If you do take on a three day fat water fast, you need to know what kind of symptoms are going to happen. And that to me was like my body finally getting the rest of the crap and the junk and the bad bacteria out of my body and I feel so much better and I feel so much lighter and I feel like I can go to the gym now. I just feel amazing now. I did break my fast today. I broke it with a bag of nuts and a few dried cherries just to give my, the nuts a little bit of sweetness. And I know you're supposed to eat very, very light on the day that you break your fast. You're supposed to have um, like soup broths and soups, very little noodles. If you have any at all they suggest a bone broth which I won't be I won't be partaking in the bone broth but I do have my kombucha that I am going to drink a bottle of kombucha today to get those probiotics in my system kombucha is very very high in probiotics so good for after a fast and before a fast actually and so yeah I just wanted to go over some of those things with you guys and just kind of let you know that 
you know, I feel so much better. I feel lighter. My clothes are fitting better. I know that that is a temporary symptom, but I haven't had heartburn the last three days because I haven't been eating anything and it has been fantastic. I get severe heartburn and severe acid reflux when I eat and basically when I eat clean and I eat um, whole foods and plant-based foods, I don't get the heartburn. So I really think I'm going to be sticking to a whole foods plant-based diet. Very, very little processed foods, if any at all. Keep the weight loss down because I don't want to gain back all of the pounds. I've lost over 10 pounds. I don't want to gain all that back within a week because that is super unhealthy for you. But I know with just eating in general, my body is going to gain back about five of those pounds, which is okay. And <clears throat> I really want to continue on my weight loss journey, but I don't want to sabotage my metabolism in the process, which is exactly what I was doing. I was dropping calories and dropping calories and dropping calories, and I wasn't losing any weight, as I said before. And that was literally just me sabotaging my own metabolism because I don't have a great metabolism, but I have a decent one. I can eat about 2,000 calories and maintain my weight. So basically, I just need to eat better foods. I really think that I can still go into like the 1500 to 1700 calorie range. As long as I'm eating healthier foods, lots of leafy greens, um, lots of fruits and vegetables, more vegetables than fruits because fruits do have a lot of sugar in them. I try to eat very, very little amounts and chew my food as much as I possibly can to break it down um, mechanically before my body starts breaking it down chemically. So that is my two cents on that. I do feel a lot better and I do suggest if you are, like I said, looking into this and doing a three day fast or a seven day fast or however many days fast you wanna do, I suggest you read up on it and do your research and don't just listen to people on the internet because everybody's experiences are totally different, which is why I wanted to show you guys my experience and how I felt. I kind of wish I would have filmed yesterday when I was feeling like crap, but I just wasn't in the mood to talk like I don't know I wasn't in the mood to get my clothes on I wasn't in the mood to watch a TV show I wasn't in the mood to do anything really other than watching YouTube videos and laying in bed that's literally what I did yesterday so anyways I am going to conclude this video with my final body shot from this morning like I said a lot of the weight loss was water weight so you know I didn't have a big change in my body but I did film it for you guys this morning so you guys could see what difference is and I will put a side-by-side -side shot up for you guys so you can see what I look like before and after and please no judgments because this is my own personal journey everybody's gonna have their own journey of weight loss and health and fitness and this is just my journey and I figured I might as well share it with you guys because I am a regular consumer I have a family that I take care of and my husband takes care of and you know I just wanted to let you guys know that getting fit doesn't happen in three days or a week it happens over a long period of time especially if you plan on it being a lifelong thing if you want it to just be a quick thing for going on a cruise let's say because I'm going on a cruise in November then yeah a three-day fast and you know maybe a seven-day fast is good for you because then you can be thin for a couple days during your cruise but then when you start eating all that food on the cruise it's not going to matter anyways. So that's why I am starting this journey early. I started it last year in June and I was hoping to be down about 35 pounds by this year in June. So I will give you a full video on that. I've already started my video on that. So I hope that you guys are not going to judge me at all because that would be pretty terrible. But if you guys have any tips or tricks for after a fast, or if you have any good food options, like things that you like to eat all the time that are very healthy and good for you, let us know down in the comments below. And that can, you know, you can share it with everybody and then everybody can be involved in this. So I'm really excited to bring this video to you guys. I have done three day fasts before and this is what happens to me every time on the third day as I get so dizzy, lightheaded with a headache and my body fatigue is really bad and I just can't do it anymore. So I nourish my body and 
With doing a fast, I realize that I'm not eating for pleasure, I'm eating for nourishment. And sometimes I forget that. And sometimes I think, oh, well, this tastes really good, I can have six of them. But instead of doing that, say, oh, this tastes really good, let's have one, and then we're over it. So now let's eat something to nourish our body, like fruits and vegetables and leafy greens and healthy foods, you know? So, yeah. That was what I wanted to say. I do feel like my digestive system feels so much better. I don't feel super bloated. My stomach isn't just curdling all the time. Although it has only been the three days of fasting and I just started eating, so there's that. But I just wanted to, you know, fill you guys in and leave you with maybe a thought to think about doing a fast or maybe think about what you're doing in your life. And something I said on my get ready with me is that I really like to start doing a once a week or once a month or maybe once every other week doing a 24 hour fast. I felt so good in that 24 hours my, of the first part of my fast. I was a little hungry in the morning and then when I got over that hunger feeling, I felt so good. I had so much energy. I had so much positivity. I just felt great. So I think going further in the future, I'm going to start doing 24 hour fasts and I'm going to start doing them more often as opposed to the three day fast because like I said, I just, I usually can't last the full three days. I've only lasted with 60, what did I say, 62, 68 hours, 68 I think it was, and yeah, so I'm just kind of over this fast now, I'm ready to get back to a healthy diet and just start nourishing my body with my what my body needs. I really feel like not having food made me realize what food is for. Food is not for pleasure, food is for nourishment and your body needs those vitamins and minerals and that nourishment in there to function properly. And I'm really happy I did this and I hope that this gave you some insight at s in some way, shape or form that you guys can take from this video and you know apply it to your own life and apply it to your own weight loss and fitness journey. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh my god, this glitter is literally getting all over my face. <laughs> 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 <laughs>